Stargazer. This is Marcy of Earth Sky. November is a great month for meteors. All you need is a dark sky. There are three major meteor showers in November. First, the South and North Torrids start in late October and ramble into early November. The South Torrids peak around November 5th. However, the full Super Hunter's Moon is on November 5th, so you'll only see the brightest meteors. Watch for meteors somewhere in the moon's shadow. And this year there might be more fireballs than normal because we're passing through a more dense part of the South Torrid meteor streak. The North Torrids peak around November 9th. As with the South Torrids, moonlight from a bright moon might wash out all but the brightest meteors. And why watch around midnight? Taurus the Bull, which both showers radiate from, is highest in the sky around midnight. Under dark skies, the South and North Torrid meteor showers, when they overlap, produce about 10 meteors per hour. Although the slow-moving torrids are known to produce fireballs, or especially bright meteors, in 2025, moonlight will reduce how many meteors you might see. So find a way to block out the bright moon. A good spot is in the moon's shadow. And the big meteor event for November 2025 comes overnight on November 16-17. That's the peak of the famous Leonid meteor shower. You'll have dark skies this year since the waning crescent moon is in the morning sky and won't interfere with the Leonid. The Leonids radiate from Leo the Lion. This radiant point is highest in the sky by dawn, so watch in the hours after midnight and before dawn on November 17th. Under a dark sky, you might see 10 to 15 Leonids per hour. A Leonid meteor storm in the year 1833 produced thousands of meteors per minute. Then in 1966, people saw thousands of Leonid meteors per minute for about 15 minutes, sometimes picking up to thousands of meteors per second. Can you imagine that? Some observers in 1966 said you wanted to grip the ground so strong was the impression of Earth hurtling through the meteor stream in space. Of course, in most years, the meteors from Leo the Lion whimper rather than roar, but the Leonids are always fun to watch. Tips for watching meteor showers. Find a dark spot. No need to watch the radiance. Scan the entire sky. If the moon is out, block it with a tree, car, or building. Take a lawn chair, blanket, and snacks. Put away electronics to save your night vision. Relax and enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, and share so you won't miss any upcoming night sky events. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do.